Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I thought we could do a bit of a Q&A. Now I originally asked for video suggestions on Instagram but I didn't really get any video suggestions, I got a bunch of questions. <laughs> so here we are doing a Q&A. First one is, have you ever done a stream of consciousness where you talk out loud and let your mind wander? No, I haven't. I honestly would, but I'm kind of afraid of what I might say, so I don't think that's something I'm gonna do. Next question is, how to navigate work and having disabilities? Well, last year, in 2023, I worked as a custody officer for an immigration detention centre and it was a good job. How I navigated that with my mental health was I made sure I was stable for a longer period of time. Then once I physically felt ready, I applied for the job, I went to an interview and I got the job. And. There wasn't much to it, so I only worked two days a week, I did two 12 hour shifts, so that was fun. I never did night shifts because of my medication, it's about being honest with your employer as well about medication and mental health. My boss knew that I took antipsychotic medication and I had to have it at night and once I've taken it it has a tendency to knock me out so obviously I couldn't work under those circumstances which she respected and was very nice about and said she didn't put me on day shifts. What medication was the worst to the best? The worst medication I've been on would have to be clozapine. It made me so fucking ill. And my bloods kept coming back red. I know it helps some people to, to look for everything. For me, no. The best medication I've been on is Haloperidol. Haloperidol works very well for me and it lessens my psychotic symptoms. I've been on Quetiapine, I've been on Alanzapine, I've been on Clopixel, I've been on... what was the other one I was on? Clozapine. And then I was put on Haloperidol. So, I have had my fair share of experience of being on antipsychotic medications. Another good medication I take is lithium. Lithium is a mood stabiliser, it's used for treatment of bipolar disorder and bipolar spectrum disorders, as well as schizoaffective disorder which I'm diagnosed with. Things to do to keep safe. Have a hot bath with a bath bomb, light a candle, take photos, colour, do makeup, film videos, have a scrapbook, create a distraction box, read a book, dye your hair. How to manage a relapse. Now, relapse is different for everybody. We relapse with different things for different reasons. For me, when I get triggered, I almost always nearly go back to self-harming. And I've, I'm 18 months free of self-harm. So I don't want to go back to self-harming. I've got tattoos on places that I self-harm. So I can't do it really without ruining an expensive piece of art. So coping with relapse is difficult. 
The last time I relapsed, I was in hospital. It's an informal patient. And honestly, a lot of it was just how you handle things. I remember when I was in hospital, I tried to break a razor that I'd snuck in and I couldn't break it. And then the staff member did checks and he came in my room and took the razor off me and asked how I got it in. I said, I put it in my bra. But coping with relapse is just accepting it. Acceptance is key. You have to accept that that's what you've done. You have to accept the consequences. And then you just have to move forward and try and try again so I'll keep trying this question I've got is organising medication and being on top of everything so I don't actually organise my medication my medication is controlled by the staff in this accommodation they have a medication room which is all locked up the only medication I have access to is my migraine medication and ibuprofen because I'm allergic to paracetamol but being on top of everything, I'm not on top of everything. I leave things to last minute. I do have a calendar on my wall where I try and write down what I'm doing. But it's just not easy. <laughs> so yeah. That is the answers to the questions I got asked. Thank you for watching and if you're new, subscribe. And if you didn't know, I have a Patreon, which is three dollars. It's only a bit. It is. I have a Patreon. It's only three dollars. If you want to donate more, you go on different tiers. I have one fifty dollar Patreon, and I have three three dollar Patreons. So, if you're interested, please check that out. I'll link it on the iCard up there. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.